Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jose Conejo Martin, and I'm right here with El Calderon, 664 La Baja. I'm from the city of Los Angeles, born and raised. But a while back, me metí en un pedo, and I had to go on this journey. Y pues caí aquí en la ciudad, y este, I ended up staying here 15 years, and this became my second home. But throughout those 15 years, I was hiding from these guys over here. Yo soy de Tijuana, born and raised here in Tijuana. Uh, I'm a child of the city. Uh, used to skateboard, used to tag, buildings used to hang around and just cause trouble. Uh, not a lot of chances and opportunities for people like me here. And I decided it was a good job to go into the police work in Mexico. And I got to chase people like him for a while. <laughs> you know, I grew up in the streets of Los Angeles, but then I end up here in, in the country that where my parents were born. And I remember the night que cruzamos, you know, it was nighttime. Cruzamos, I seen the thing in the mountain, and you know, once I crossed, I knew that I was never gonna go be able to go back, you know? Yes, the, you know, being a fugitive is, is, is it's not an easy thing. You, you learn as you go, uh, as you go, you know? Sometimes you gotta hide in plain sight, and then sometimes you gotta go on the ground. And then along the way, you, you know, you, you pick up enemies, you're hiding from the government, you just, it, it's, it's a lot. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. Buscar y cazar hombres es algo que es muy adictivo para muchos. Like hunting a man is one of those things. Uh, I was not only born in the jungle of Tijuana, I also hunted him. And Tijuana is a, the corner of Latin America. Haitians, Americans coming back basically to find their roots. People hiding, people looking for an easy way to make a, a few million and then disappear into the, you know, the nothingness, the dream, you know? you know? The dream is free, the hustle is sold separately. And the game here was real and it's been real. Esta es la universidad. This is the university. This is where people have come, learn. And if you don't graduate, you know, you go off somewhere else, you know, either beneath or above. Whatever you, whatever, whatever uh, karma you, you, you got in life, that's where you go. Uh, being a hunter here, I, I got to learn from the best teachers on the planet. People with experience. Experience is a bitch of a teacher, but she will never lie to you. And when I got to meet people like my amigo Conejo, um, a lot of people would take, a, would take somebody like him, put him in a hole, not talk to him for a few days and see what comes up after. Uh, I took a knee and I, I took a knee and I listened, I started conversations. Uh, I never, never made the mistake of dehumanizing my enemy and realized later on that, uh, as I call it, the after party or the afterlife. When shit's said and done, when job ends, when people that you thought were brothers and family leaves you, you know, the enemy turns into something else, it turns into a conversation. And uh, it's a mirror. Uh, I was born in Tijuana. He was born in LA. It's an interesting uh, experience right now, seeing ourselves kind of cross paths as we look back before we look forward. Me, the way I basically see it is, is you adapt or you die. You know, I got on, um, they finally caught up to me in 2016, November, November of 2016. I, I got extradited back to the US I ended up getting out in 2018. I, I pled down to a to a lesser charge, but for some reason, something kept on calling me back to the city. So I'm always here, you know. I, aquí es mi casa y, y este, the, the things I've I seen here, las cosas que aprendí, la gente que conocí, 
like I would never change that for nothing. Even though I had, I felt, I, I felt so much pain here. I felt like the worst of the worst kind of emotions running through my body. You know, like, you know, some of you might not know what it is to not sleep for 15 years unless you have insomnia, but you know, it's just survival mode, you know? You know, and 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 to this day, like, like, I don't know, I, I represent 664. Stray dogs, perros de la calle. You get a you get a perro de la calle and take them home, start feeding them. There's no trust there. He still wants to leave, he still wants to go outside. Suddenly you get trust, calm. A dog sleep for about three days. It's tired, you know, tired from being hunted, tired from running, trying to figure out where the next meal is coming from. Uh, I had that same process that you had, but in reverse. Like I was on 24 seven for 12 years, seven phones, uh, rifles, grenades, shit, shit around my bed, trying to figure out what the next day is gonna bring, uh, getting moved around a lot, not knowing what home was. And all of a sudden finding myself with all that over, a government, you know, casting me aside, uh, people turning their backs on me, and a job ending. All of a sudden all the responsibility turns into a sleepless night looking out the window, picking the next fight. And uh, still struggling to find exactly what that next fight is. And, you know, most most of most of the war that I've been fighting right now has been internal. It wasn't external anymore. So coming to terms with not being that anymore. Come to terms to come to terms with laying down the bottle. Uh, most of the war that I fought was over for me. Uh, although the war rages on, I left to the United States to look for a better life, a uh, future for myself. And basically all that future related to me reliving, reliving some of the trauma that I went through, some of the experience that I went through and showing other people what my city showed me and what those lessons were. Uh, my therapy sessions were tying people up, showing them how to get out of the things that I used to tie them up. My therapy sessions were showing people how to again across the country, showing people from the military to the police to civilians that want to travel and move about freely in the world. And my university was Tijuana. She was a very abusive mother, but she produced some pretty interesting children. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tijuana as a city is a pretty interesting background. We're talking to Conejo about it. It's, a, it's an island, it's my isla. It's an island where different uh, species that shouldn't be intermingled other, in other parts of nature are intermingled here. It's a Jurassic Park of a, of a sort, you know? Um, different interests, different people, the largest drug market on the planet, on the other side of it, a highway, a super highway of drugs coming across, uh, a school of murderers, a school of assassins, a school of people that are looking to create security for themselves and their families, doing something that is very insecure and dangerous. Uh, this was the school. Yo, la neta, desde, desde Moro, yo nunca pensé que yo me iba a ser, iba a ser compa de un placa, o placas, several, porque yo, as we grew up, we always think of the police as the enemy. De hecho, cuando yo tenía como 10 años, no nomás yo, yo y todos mis amigos, llegaba un black and white, todos corríamos for no fucking reason. And, and, and we already had in our mind que they ask us something, it's like, fuck you. I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing. Es lo que nos enseñan desde Moro, you know, I don't know nothing. Y, y, y le caigo para acá, a place where I found my voice. When it comes to the music, I found my voice in Tijuana. When it comes to spirituality, I found my spirituality in Tijuana. When it comes to like, even my manhood, my, my, my physicality, I found it here in the martial arts. I got my black belt here. Not in Tijuana, I got it in Jalisco, but I was living in Tijuana. And um, I found a lot of things here, you know? And like I was saying, nunca pensé que, que yo iba a ser Compa de un placa de un estatal, peor un pinche estatal. Los, los pinches pepos de motherfuckers was on me. You know, that, and I knew if I had to worry about somebody in, in, in La Baja that was going to get me, iban a ser los pepos. They had the most technology. Ellos tenían el grupo en Lancet. They were hooked up with the U.S. You know, you know, like, well, it's like a, it's like a web of intelligence that, that is in the, like, in the, in the underworld. 
and, and you know, you pick up all this information, y oyes de esto y de otro, nah, pues, pues, they doing it like this, o que traen una little tablet where you put your hand, y pum, corre todo, and, and all these things, and, pues, la neta, les, 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 daba, les sacaba la vuelta, I wasn't trying to fuck with them, you know, and, and it wasn't because a motherfucker was scared, it's because, shit, I was living my life, ya estaba a gusto, I, 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 you know, I embraced, I embraced Baja, you know, this was my home, and, you know, in the beginning, my boy, que now he's resting in peace, he siempre me decía, hey, Rabbit, this is home, and you'll be like, Charlie, hell no, nah, it's your home, but, con los años, this shit became my home, and, and, como digo, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change nothing about it, and, you know, I met, like, like, like Ed, and I have other friends, Carlos, y municipales, and all, and, and, you know, a lot of these people, I met them through, through spiritual practices, through ceremonies, through rituals, and I was like, man, they cool too, they fucking under pressure, that's why they sometimes act out of pocket, because they crack too, you know, we all humans, you know, and, um, some of you fools are gonna watch this shit and be like, ah, oh, fuck that fool, so they're talking some peaceful shit with the cops, nah, fuck no, I'm always gonna be who I am, but, you know, I'm gonna be cordial with whoever's cordial with me, you know? And 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 at the same time, we have a lot of shit in common. We're playing the same fucking game. It's it's that cat, it's cat and mouse game. It's, it's the same pinche juego. juego. You know, y este, pues tú tienes que hacer tu chamba y yo tengo que hacer mi jale. And, it, and this shit is fucking chess. It's ajedrez. It's strategy. Había, había cabrones que lo tomaban personal y buscaban la raza. Y a mí me tocó ser lo que hice y en el tiempo que yo hice lo que el trabajo que estaba era cuando tenía cuando había miedo de nuestra parte hacíamos el jale como era we did our job like we had to do there was fear there uh, it changed now you know that's the shadow of what we were back then for a for a while there we were we were doing some shit we we're doing some work and like everything everything gets corrupted people get in people get out fucking people get fucking betrayed and all that shit if anything we share is that you know there's always betrayal everywhere Fucking knives are always uh, pointing at your back. Me acuerdo de un cabrón, Jaramillo, who would say, hey, wear two plates. You know, one the front, one the back. It's too heavy, man. My fucking rodillo, don't be culero. Pichi placa de fierro. Yeah, but you never know who's going to shoot you in the back here. They always look back. Uh, pinches puercos. You know, spit on. Asesinos, pinches, ratero, corrupto, all of that shit was said to me, you know? And dude, I'll take you, I'll show you how I live. I live like a fucking hobo. I never made a million dollars, you know? Fucking hustling right now. I left that shit behind me. It's not something I am now. La policía is lo que es en Mexico. The cops are what they are in Mexico. The fame and the fucking clout is burned. It is a fucking factory of monstruos. It is. Uh, but some of these monsters develop a fucking conscience. Some of these fucking monsters develop a fucking, you know, an ability to, to think for themselves. And that is when those monsters get a fucking chip implanted or fucking get kicked out or fucking get fucking canned. And when I, when I, when I started following Conejos, I saw him, I was like, I recognize that office where he's, uh, <laughs> I recognize that office like behind him in that picture. I was like, hey, he's a cabrón, yo lo conozco. And I fucking start figuring out, dude, yo andaba atrás de ese cabrón. I was like, we were, behind, we were following fucking Conejo for a while. And now, now we're somewhere else, you know? We're, this is a, this is like a weird fucking uh, time machine. That's what I call it. Therapy is a time machine, you know? I'm going through my healing process. I'm going through my, finding my spirituality again, again. Spiritualidad que yo encontré aquí en Tijuana. You know, a través de otras... De otras cosas, de otras deidades diferentes a las de él, pero I found my spirituality here. And it was interesting seeing, ver el espejo, seeing a mirror of somebody, you know, somebody that was also running, somebody who was also changing what he did and what he's now doing, somebody trying to reinvent himself, uh, somebody, somebody trying to create something out of that experience uh, in a different way. And I reached out, you know? Conversation is a therapy. Yeah, oh yeah. Just last night, we were up to one in the morning, Aneta. I'd be asleep at nine, 10. Yeah, noche estuvimos toda la pinche noche, just like, how, like, como los, 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 like, like, los años concedían. I'll be like, okay, in 2009, una andabas. And I'll be like, oh shit, that's when I was doing this shit. 
So it's like, you know, yo la neta, I was just trying to outsmart them, not to get over on them, but to execute my plan, my life, my life plan, you know, which is survival and, and protect. Look, you know, at the end of the day, we want the same shit and it's just to like protect our loved ones. And we're gonna do whatever the fuck we gotta do para que se cumpla eso, you know? Y pues, the, the, how you slept, having the homies on watch, uh, having your, your shit at the ready. And it's like, you're, you're describing how we slept and how we had our shit on fucking check. Uh, que uno de esos cabrones le pasara algo y van a hacer el paro, you know? It's, it's, it's the same story, just fucking different sides of it. And the whole concept of el enemigo, hey, esos son los malos, esos son los buenos. Para ti, nosotros éramos los malos. Para nosotros, ustedes eran los malos. Pero el villano es un punto de vista. The villains are just a point of view. And that was a almost two in the morning fucking conversation, just trying to figure out like, hey, wait, aquí estaban ustedes, like, oh fuck, we were over here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's basically, it's, 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 son dos barras atravesando, atravesándose en el aire, two bullets uh, crossing each other in the air, you know? And uh, like, I've, I've met, I've met your family. I've met, I've met what you created. And it's a life, it's a promise. And, you know, and it's, it's, it's fucking surreal, mind blowing to see the after of it, the after party, the after life of it. Just realizing that there is life, life after death in a way, and how we both kind of went through our own process of dying, getting buried, and digging ourselves up. You know, now, cuando, cuando cruzo por San Isidro, as soon as I come in, it's like, ah, oh, I'm home. I don't know, it's just it's a strange feeling. Cruzo la línea, I'm home. Feels good. The smell, the the way the traffic moves, like that, the city got me like on point to the point where I was just like, I was counting cars, uh, the way I moved, the way I drove. Even my daughter was like, was like my, you know, she's riding dirty with me, you know. She's part of this whole thing. She helped me, you know. Now you know we we did this together, and I don't know, I just it changed my life. Muchas cosas que me pasaron aquí, it just like changed my life for like for like the better, you know? Created some of the dopest music. I documented, I documented 15 years of Tijuana, my music. If you hear my fucking music, yeah, I mentioned LA, yeah, I mentioned California, but I documented Tijuana straight up. Es lo que escuchas, es lo que escuchas. When I hear your, when I hear your lyrics, when I hear what you talk about, it's, it's como leer el Z, pero con rima. Yeah. Es como leer el, el, el mexicano, el, 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 el alarma. <laughs> es como leer alarma, pero te quedas. You look at it, it's like, this, this, this is, this is like, an, like finding an old newspaper. It's like finding a, an old newspaper article. It's like a, finding an old uh, uh, Zeta uh, uh, newspaper and just reading through it. I'm like, God, come on. This okay. guy's reporting. This guy's reporting. It's like, you know, for me, you know, this was my experience. This was my, uh, this is the war I fought. It's like uh, seeing a way, it's, it's like seeing somebody talk. It's like a time machine in the form of a, the form of a song. You, you know, know todos todo siempre me preguntan, hey, no te da miedo ir para allá, para pa, pa la baja? And I'm like, nah, not really. It just it feels normal. I ain't going to say that I ain't on my toes because I am on my toes, you know? Yes, but, you know, I'm just going to, just going to live my life. And, and, and ya llega una, this is, this is the, this is a reset. This is a new me, yeah, this, I'm reborn, you know, and we nací de vuelta, but I'm, I'm, I'm back here, you know, and there's a city que está lleno de fantasmas. You know what? These streets taught me about the human heart. I'm going to talk about my heart. Like, I've seen some shit over here that, yeah, I have to be stone-faced about it, but in reality, on the inside, it, it hurt me. I've seen some shit that, well, I I'll probably will never see. I, the, the shit happens on the other side of the border, but here, the shit is vicious e y, y, y la neta, pues, tengo, tengo compas de que eran cold-hearted, you already know, cold-hearted. And, and I'm not saying that they were bad and, I, and I'm better than them because I didn't become just like them. I don't know. I just, I just, I just have a heart for a lot of things. And, y pues, I kind of, like, recognize entre lo bueno y lo malo, you know? Lo, lo, lo reconozco and don't get me wrong, like, I'm going to react. <coughs> You know, 
Like, I'm going to react the way I'm supposed to react and what, in the situation it calls for. But for now, you know, I'm just... Aquí estoy. I'm talking about a sweat. Like, I'm trying to sweat. So, you know, you know, the pinche temascal y sudar y sacar todas las pinches toxinas, you know? Y... Tijuana for me, it's like, Tijuana for me, that it's broke that delusion. You know, you see the movies when you're growing up and now there's bad guys and heroes and shit like that. Agarras la onda. You know, we're all villains. Aquí en Tijuana, tienes que ser un villano. De cualquier lado que estés, you have to be a fucking villain. And it means different things to different people. Because villain, the villainy is a point of view. I remember being in a reunion with a high level guy who was in charge of us, he said, ¿Quién de aquí quiere hacer una diferencia para su ciudad y ser un héroe, cambiar las cosas? Sáquense a chingar a su madre, lo que ocupa aquí son villanos. Porque estamos, vamos contra los diablos, ocupamos diablos para batallar con los diablos. You know, they wanted demons, they wanted devils, they wanted fucking villains. They, lo que Tijuana me enseñó, lo que Tijuana me enseñó, me enseñó, es que everybody can be a villain in somebody else's story. And you have to fucking come to terms with that. Uh, but it doesn't mean you have to stay that. Uh, right now, you, when you were talking, I thought about some poet, el que, el que no danza, no avanza, and shit. <laughs> you know? But, I don't know. It's just it's just dope to be here, back in the city, you know, and and I was just here to, like, share this with you and, you know, the, the positive things that came from it, you know? Like, like like you said, the, it, the thing, I mean, it's, it's, it's rowdy out there, pero, pero no es lo mismo, you know? You know, and, and I lost a lot of clo people that were close to me. Some got melted, some went pieces, some are MIA, some are, you know, they're in the US, they got extradited, they got indicted, they're, they ain't never coming out, you know? And so this is a city of a lot of loss. You lose a lot of people, you know? And and I don't know, it just, it just I think it makes you stronger, you know? It, it almost like, I'm fucking desensitized, you know? Unless it's like, Alguien like this next to me, I probably won't have a real reaction. Yeah, I'll be like, damn, that's fucked up. That was my boy. But oh, the way this city is, is like the shit that we see, like the like the the savage ways that that. I know, I normally, I, I Tijuana norm, you know, there's yeah. normal, there's Tijuana norm. Tijuana normal is otra dimension, upside down. That's why I call it the upside down. It's otra dimension. Uh, my first job, one of my first jobs that I did was, uh, was like, uh, I remember getting uh, bolt cutters. I was like, ah, I was gonna bre breaching, I'm gonna fucking go to a door and fucking cut a chain and breach shit. Me no you know? I was a new guy. Fucking, I was supposed to cut a dude down from a bridge. That was my first job. That was my first fucking responsibility. And uh, one of the older guys, viejo lobo de mar, big fucking conmigo on this motherfucker. Fucking old school, judicial motherfucker. He said, like, hey, suerte, baja ese cabrón, take him down. So, there, just fucking put a fucking truck underneath it. Huh? Mm -hmm. like, go down and like, hey, no mames, yeah, pobre cabrón, no mames, que culeros fueron con él. The older guy says, what do you mean? This is very kind of them. This is kind? This fucking hanging somebody from a bridge is kind? The older guy said, yeah. His family's gonna have a body to bury. They're gonna have a funeral for him. They're gonna cry over his body. They're gonna bury him. The body is a gift. So be, be, they should be thankful. And that's when I learned that Tijuana is a different fucking kind of moment. You un día este, un día me entró una llamada, right? The guy on the other side of the phone, he's real frantic. Venganse pa' acá. We had a spot that nobody knew. It was like a meet point. Venganse pa' acá, venganse pa' acá. So we know something's not right. So we're getting ready. We're on our way there. And then we get a call from another guy and he's like, don't go. It's a setup. It's a setup. And then he's already getting there. And se empezó a ir algo in the background. You just imagine lo que se empezó a ir. So instead of that, we go straight and jump on a plane and go to Jalisco. Shit like that, like, with nothing. Right now, we're buying a plane ticket, and we're out of here. We'll build it. We'll build it. Pa que se, pa que, you know, just to get that, you know, those shadows, they're on you, you know, he, he, and this is a city that, 
that's prendido. You're always on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like sleeping in a room with the light on. It's Tijuana. The light is always on. If you're not fucking, if you don't have one eye open, uno con un ojo abierto, because they don't get you. Me acuerdo que el día que me agarraron, right? You know, I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the, the team that got me, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, quién me puso? I tell these fools, like, quién me puso? I'm out of here anyways. Fucking tell me, you know? And they like look at each other because they got, see, they got me like in the, in the, in the little cabin in the back of the, the truck. I'm handcuffed. I'm handcuffed here, and my, and my, there's the cuffs around my ankles, and they're cuffed to the, they're cuffed to the bottom of the bed of the, of the truck. It has a little thing on it. Yes, they. I'm not going no more, just like, tell me. He said, Rien, and they gave me, you know, they gave me the clues. So, you know, I put it together, plus what other people tell me. And and I remember, pues, yo nunca llevaba nadie a mi casa, nadie, nunca. I never take, take nobody to my house. You know, it's something I learned here. Be because aquí, like, let's just say I'm boys with you. Five years down the line, something goes wrong. And and, and this is the city donde se arreglan las cosas de otra manera. And you know exactly where I live, and that's where you're gonna go. And and you know me, basically they just they got me out of the way. The dude que me puso, he's just trying to get me out of the way. They used the government to get me out of the way. And you know, was going to me and I thought it was something else. The way the way you guys moved in on me, snatched my ass up, and somehow they, my life started flashing. Like I started thinking about my my kids, my my mom, my family, like you know. I'm down and phew, I'm hearing the things and and I'm like, you guys are smashing. So I know that you guys are making lefts, rights by the engine revving up, stopping, the sirens going off. I'm thinking something else, you know? Yo dije, me ahorita van a dar una pinche casa de seguridad and they're gonna go to work on me, man. Van a hacer pedazos, they're gonna it's Tijuana, blow Tijuana. torch me. They're gonna do some shit to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, soldados con tenis, you know? Are these soldados con tenis? Are these, uh, are yeah. these PGR or are these uh, something else? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 Tijuana has the international trophy of me uh, police cosplay, you know? You know, he, he, <laughs> it's he, fuckers he, dressed like him. And I remember when we first showed up over here, we had gotten into the situation. I, I talk about it on my podcast, and it's about this high speed chase, but right before all that, I remember le, le, my boy, Le Marca Su Hermana, que vaya a la casa de una bruja en West Covina. We're here and they're over there. So now we got the bruja and the fucking, uh, the chirps. This is this Bulls Mobiles and Nexteles. <laughs> y este, me acuerdo que le pregunto a la bruja, we got on speaker, le digo, oiga, ¿qué son? Because the way it happened, it was just, it was, it wasn't your regular cop shit. Like in the U.S., like, you know, they, they have their protocols. Yeah, motherfuckers get smoked over there, sacan la mano too quick or some movement like that. Pero acá, it was some tactical shit, the way they were moving in on us. Y, y pues le digo a la señora, este, oiga, ¿qué, ¿qué eran? ¿Son buenos o son malos? Y la señora, that shit just came out loud from the, the telephone. I said, son buenos, pero son malos. And I'm like, pero so what the fuck does that mean? Le digo, pues, ¿qué, you know, ¿qué significa eso? Oh, pues, significa que se van a esperar hasta que you fools are worn the fuck out, tan cansados, they're gonna come over that wire, los van a matar. And we're just like, damn, this is where the fuck we at? Like, this this is, you know, it's just some other shit. Yeah, and, you know, I'm not gonna say that, but, cause allá en los barrios is the same shit. We post it up, it's wartime, desde que estamos niños, we, we like kind of train for that, you know? Pero acá, you playing this game with the, with the popos, you playing this game with the police, and 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 it's fair game to play on their same level. So se vale, se vale lo que what they got, we got. Y no es como allá que the U.S. que van a ser satélites y te van a dar vida si matas un cana en acá. Shit might go on stop like for forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, what's the percentage of, of the overnight uh, over ninety percent of all murders in Mexico are never solved? You know so. It gives you, you know, you got space to move when it comes to that, you know? And if you're with it and you're willing to go that extra mile, then there's a place for you, you know? Las reglas son fluidas, you know? Like, just like normal, is fluid. Las reglas son fluidas. When I started, you know, there was, there was rules about family. There was rules about not fucking with each other's family. There was rules about not going after women, children. But generations come and go. 
This is a thing with Mexico. Every six years, there's a reset. And this is at the government level. Every six years, there's a reset. Rules change, people change, who's in charge changes, uniforms change, the name changes, but some of the shit stays the same. On the street level, el que estaba encargado ayer ya no está, y se fueron todos los viejos. All the old guys leave, die, get arrested, go off to better lives. And then the young one coming, and los jóvenes, they don't have a teacher, they don't have a guy, the young guys don't have anybody showing them the ropes. And they think it's cool to go after somebody's kid. They think it's cool to go after somebody's wife. And just and that propagates a change in the, in, the, in, the, in the system, in the rules. The same over all over history probably has been repeated over and over again. I think time's a flat circle. Pero aquí en Tijuana, las reglas cambian constantemente. El dueño de ayer, the ruler, the ruler of yesterday, is, is, is the guy that's uh, now has a corrido on him and maybe a altar somewhere but he's dead and gone and buried and everything he did all the rules he created all the things he was uh, promoting that's gone now it's hey, vamos con el otro. you know from el tres letras to Leisaola. Era, era, there were people that would put rules forth but they're gone now and now there's new generations working you know and the rules just change Hay un dicho que my boy right here, he always tells me que alguien le dijo dicho, and it's like saying basically, si vas a andar chueco, tienes que andar, mm -hmm. you still, you got this andar recto. So for me, basically, just stay on the fucking sidelines. Yeah, I was immersed in this world, but like I said, you gotta be strategic and, and you know, this is your enemy, this is your enemy, this is the government, and this shit is like one of those games with the cup with the little ball. And you gotta just let these motherfuckers do it, quitarte, and then you move, you know? You move, you, there's I, there's an opportunity, you know? And then one, one fault, you know, you make the wrong move, te carga la verga, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta just... The lesson I learned, and I wish, I, I wish somebody told me this lesson when I started, nobody's against you, they're for themselves. If I knew that shit when I got in, a lot of shit would have been different. Nobody's against you for themselves. It's una regla aquí. Todos están a su favor. No están en tu contra, están a su favor. Nobody's against you for themselves. Once you realize this, you realize the rules of the game, you know? Once you cross that line and you make it personal with somebody, you fuck with somebody in a very direct way, you make it a point to really disrupt their life, you're gonna pay for that shit. It's gonna haunt you. Uh, things go around. Things go around. You might be at the top one day, but the next day you're gonna be somewhere in a fucking Oxo in the parking lot trying to light a cigarette. You're gonna get an ice pick up stuck up your ass. <laughs> Niños perdidos is like a nickname we used to give ourselves. These were a bunch of kids. This is Never Neverland. Tijuana is Never Neverland. It's fucking Captain Cook and shit like that. Fucking pirates and Indians and shit. This is Tijuana. Um, I was a kid, they don't need it. And being a man here, being an alpha in Tijuana, I mean, it's a different thing. Um, you know, when I went to the US and learned about the alpha male culture and shit like that, I know they kind of describe it up there. Un alfa aquí says, enseñame no me digas. Show me, don't tell me. That is an alpha here. And when I was coming up, I had people show it. Uh, but I didn't have a brain to discern what they were showing me, if it was good or not. All I had was just fucking, oh, no me morí, no me metí en broncas, creo que está bien. Uh, ¿Qué le pasó a ese niño? What happened to that kid? Uh, still there. Uh, just buried a bunch of, underneath a bunch of alcohol and substance abuse problems and fucking depression and shit like that. It's a big, heavy weighted blanket uh, that he's uh, still underneath. Um, Going through my process of sobriety, I've been fucking digging him out. Donde esta niño? I think he's he's underneath all that shit. Uh, sobriety is a time machine. You wanna neta una cosa that I take back from here? Some pesadillas, you know. I don't know if it's because someone might say, "Oh, you're fucking weak. That's why you that's why you have nightmares." Because a real motherfucker he don't even care. But you know, I have nightmares and shit. You know, siempre. Sometimes it'll stop for a month, 
But then they, they just started on me again, like in the last week. I've been pesadillas every day, every day, every day, every day. And, and in all those pesadillas, I just feel guilt. And I'm on some shit where like, I see myself doing things and, and, and it's like, I'm like out of body and I'm like, I don't wanna do this. Why am I doing this? And it's just like, I don't know, siento guilt. But pues no, no, I had no option, you know? Llegué aquí, parachuted in, caí aquí. Y este, pues this, was, this is the environment. ¿Qué, qué chingados vamos a hacer, you know? There's no duo. What, 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 what can you do? You know, I just, um, I just went with the flow, you know, it took me this way and I went that way. Y como tuve mi chance to like fall back, I did it. And y no fue como que si, oh, I hung up my gloves, nah. I just, you know, I had more things more important, but I was, siempre estuve pendiente de que, que podía pasar. And that's, I was always thinking about the fucking, like the negative, possibilities of, of what could happen. Even today, I'm still like that, you know? Okay, me no se we was We was having, um, we didn't have breakfast today. We were right there by um, Boulevard Ajo Caliente Mexican restaurant, doing our own shit. Se siente una morra right in front of us, and she's looking at us. We're eating, we're clowning, we're whatever the fuck, watching the news, Afghanistan, lo que sea. And then, my shit right away, la estoy mirando, and like, man, por qué está mirando? And she's texting. And as soon as Bible check, we get up, este, now she's on the phone. To me, I'm already like, that means, some, that means something else to me. That's my, my instincts already telling me, hey, we've been here too long. We gotta shake the spot, porque si no. That's PTSD, man. Yeah, el, P, el PTSD just, no, 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 no te, no te dejan paz, you know? That's it, that's it. That's okay. PTSD, man. We didn't know, I, I didn't know anything about PTSD, you know? Did you talk, mention Afghanistan? We used to call Tijuana, Tijuana, Tijuanistan. That's what we used to call Tijuana, you know, Tijuanistan, because of the level of shit we saw. Uh, that fucking being on shit, you know, you're not there anymore, but you see shit like that, and you're like, this is off. But yeah, yeah. But it's a false alarm, or if it's a real alarm. And, but whatever that version of you was, that taught you that lesson to look at shit like that, that kept you alive. It kept me alive, yeah, yeah, that's just survival, that's like, it's a, it's a gallo que te hizo la vida. It's, a, it's, a, it's the calluses it left behind. But, you know, the, I think a, a, the biggest lie that I was taught is that you're, you're going to get better. That was the biggest pinche mentira que me dieron mi vida. Hey, yeah, all that shit happened, all this stuff you went through, you're going to get better. And it's not about getting better. It's about learning how to live with yourself. And when you become, it's about learning how to live with it, not fucking getting better. You're not going to go on the back if they chop it off. Yeah. Es, es, es el pedo. Como yo dije a, a few minutes ago, yo, yo era como un reportero. Yo estaba documentando todo lo que estaba pasando en la ciudad y lo que yo estaba pasando por mí. Entonces, yo tengo canciones donde yo hablo que no duermo, que las pesadillas, que esto, que otro. Que tengo que sobrevivir, tengo yeah. que sacar a mi hija adelante, a mi familia, proteger lo que, pues, lo poquito que tenía. That shit means the world. In a place que te lo, se lo quieren tragar. You know? you're, you're writing it down, you're documenting it. Y, y pues, and, and to answer lo, lo de Dave, like, I've never been in fucking power like this, like that. But but the little that, that I had when I was writing like that, pues esa madre te sientes como un pinche dios, you know? Y, y, the power, the power y, of life and death. Y, y de hecho, hasta me, again, like, yo estoy brought up el fantasma, like, now that I think about it, me sentía, I felt invisible. Yeah. There was a time when I felt invisible, like none of you motherfuckers could touch me. Si me arriba, me voy a marcar este número, les voy a dar mi pinche, well, you know, I'm going to do some, the shit that people do out here to get out of the shit. And and, and if not, it's going to go the other way. And it's uh, the, the red pill from the matrix. And uh, when we, when we, uh, <clears throat> when, when I got in, uh, all the only guys that were playing with old school, they were all into Santa Muerte. And they had a bunch of, you know, hazing rituals related to Santa Muerte. They would, you know, they would fuck with us psychologically. And one of the hazing rituals they put up through, they, uh, they fucking buried us overnight, you know? It was just to fuck with our heads in these fucking shallow graves. And uh, they said that we were, when we got out of those graves, like, ahora son fantasmas, cabrón. You know? Y los fantasmas pueden ver a los fantasmas. Entonces, reconozcanse, you know? And 
when he mentions the whole, you know, you're all of your ghosts now. It takes a ghost to see a ghost. And when he mentions that whole aspect of just feeling like a fantasma of a ghost, uh, the power, the power that comes with this lifestyle is that you know the rules, you know what happened. When you see the news, you were a part of the news. When you see what's, uh, when you see a handoff at a plaza comercial, you, what's, you know what's happening. Everybody else is oblivious to it. Everybody's moving around, but you are aware. Um, if you want to, if you want to look for the dangerous people in any environment, look for the hyper aware. Either somebody's guarding or somebody's looking the fuck over. You know. It's a look as a fantasma. And, but there's a price with that shit. There is a power to it, but there's a price. And I think that price is no puedo dormir, fucking nightmares. Being on constantly and having just this mental scar. It is always being open, 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 open. And when you see something, you're present. That reminds you of the past. Este, I, met this, I met this dude, right? Este, we would talk WhatsApp or however, you know, social media, whatever. Y este, acá, acá anda. Y un día, pues, he wanted to meet up, you know? So me and my daughter had went to the movies. So we met up outside the movie theater. And it, it was it was crazy, because lo miro, y pues, you know, he, 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 he got that on him. And the way he was, es como que si me estaba mirando otra vez. But now, it was weird. Now I'm looking at myself and somebody else. Y, y el, and I'm with my daughter, you know? And he's, the dude's left, right, left, right. And that starts making me look left, right. I'm starting, I'm like, why the fuck is fool looking everywhere? And and something's, something's you know, y me dice, you know, there's shit going on, this, this, and that. Y ahí donde fuimos, pues, I'm, I'm on it, you know. I notice fools with earpieces. I notice these things. I always look at the boots, or them, 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 you know, like them deputy, them running deputy boots. I'm always, I, yo entraba a lugares y now I always was checking them shoes like, yeah, this foot that's normal, but he got them fucking deputy boots on. Like, <laughs> hell, I'm out of here. He, he estamos ahí outside the theater, and he's telling me, and he got it on him, and he's holding, and he's gripping it. And I was like, all right, my brother gotta go. Estaba la yo con mi hija, you know, but but I seen myself in him, you know, and it was just like, damn, this is straight deja vu. I remember being there, looking, looking, keeping point for if not only for myself but for others, like he's saying. And at the same time, what well, was Encontrando el gobierno in the crowd because they're always there. Take from the no one. Fantasma, you know? fantasma, hyper aware. You're either looking out for your shit or somebody's looking out for you. And, yeah. it's, and it's that energy, you know. You you could tell when some you're somewhere and someone just looked at you. Something, some human connection happens where you're like, why do you look at me like that? What does that mean? And then you look to see if he's giving eyes to somebody else. You start counting and you just. I don't know. It's just, this shit's a science. This shit's mathematical. That's like a straight fight. up. That's like that Patrick Swayze movie, Ghost, when he realizes that they could see each other. One ghost can see each other. You know, that's a that's a fucking freaky shit. When you realize they can see each other, but it, it takes one to know when you recognize that. Those almost on dozens is what I was told that night. Like like for for artists for for people that write music, they gotta be inspired, you know, or else they get writer's block. They get stuck. No saben qué. No, I'm in a place where esta madre me dio. This shit gave me ammunition like a motherfucker. Literally and fucking, you know, as an artist. Y este, y pues, there was just so much of it that, que, you know, I just, it, it just seems so dope to me, you know. Y pues, you know, me, encontré un estudio, empecé a grabar. Y I mean, I did a, a couple collabs. You Probably no one's ever going to hear these songs. I rap with a bunch of rappers from Tijuana. Bunch of rappers, he, they became my, my boys. De hecho, uno es de, es de este, un, un compa de, de Sinaloa que he would, they would bring them down here. Mis compas aquí, de, they're from Liberty Hills, pero tenían acá en el solero una bodega. Y este, they, he became my boy, es primo del Sick Jack, and se acaba de morir. And I, I did a bunch of songs with all these dudes, you know, and, and TJ music, y I don't know, I, when I was living it, I didn't see it. But I was doing it, and I was doing it, and and, and I don't know the, the process. Like it was just normal. It's somebody was just normal life. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Fuck, it was strapped up, studio food strapped up, normal shit. You know, fumando, drinking, celebrating, like like 
But at the same time, I was always like real, well, like kind of conservative in a way. See, I had ask I go off the deep end, but for the most part, be conservative as far as like, hey, wait a minute. You, you got all the same factors, pendientes, but you got one more than all these dudes. And that always kept me kind of conservative, like, okay, ponte trucha, but, but, the, but the music, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just had so much, there's so much, um, what's the word? There's just so much here that que, there's no way that you're going to run out of content. It's impossible. There, and, and it could be, it doesn't even have to be some gangster shit. Like, just even regular life, you know? It could be poverty. It could be, um, there's a lot of shit here. We talked about a lot of shit yesterday. And, and it's, it's, it's inspirations everywhere. Uh, going down the street and seeing a Dr. Simi guy dancing yeah. in the fucking corner. <laughs> He's going into a poor neighborhood and seeing a dude that has six floors on his house for no fucking reason. Yeah, yeah. And it's shit like that. You're like, De hecho, cuando, cuando, cuando regresé para atrás a Tijuana, from, or I, I was over there. It took me a while to get my shit in order so I could come cross back over. Y crucé, y ahí en una cómoda en mi casa, la abrí. Esa madre había como unos pinches 50 little peanut phones del, del Oxxo. Twinkies. Unos pinches throwaways que <laughs> I just use them for like, maybe some, some of those phones was just for one call. Crack, crack the chip. Ya lo dejaba esa madre. You know, he yeah, got after a bunch of people, I don't know, trash bags, but apparently he made them around and get to throw those away. He want to trade craft the shit right there. Yeah. And that, that shit, that shit, I, like I train government agencies out there in the world that work overseas. And like, I learned that shit from people like he would actually apply in real time. And that's the thing, Tijuana is that. That's a, it's a university. It's not only a university, it's like, it's teaching you why. Like I, he took music, as a way to document his shit, I took a notebook and a video camera and I recorded all these things that I now show across the country as far as trade grab shit that is now getting taught to border patrol, uh, tag teams, to fucking SEALs, to SF guys going off overseas doing weird shit, weird places. And that whole craftiness. Like, hey, yeah, that's some ninja shit. Like, who taught you that? Pinchy Noel de Pinchy Zona, Zona Norte <laughs> taught me that shit. De la or, Sonaja. <laughs> and right. I do that fucking shit you do, you do with the, uh, the paper paper line as far as the phones to keep uh, communication separate. Did you learn that shit? Cabrón de la Pinta. The fucking show me that shit. Um, fucking how to make a, a, a fucking a Faraday cage bag to dump in a phone so they won't get any signals out when you pick up a, a guy who's high level. My mom used to sell those shit for us. And this fucking instruction we got from YouTube. No, no, me acuerdo que iba aquí al puente, que te llevaba la línea, and I had one phone that I would only use it when I was on that puente. And boom, I would be off forever. Ahí lo, y, y de hecho, it doesn't matter now because it's not like motherfuckers are not up on game, you know? Pero yo and the person on that other, line, other side of that line, sabíamos el día nos poníamos de acuerdo. They just say, next month on the 12th at 8 p.m., we're going to turn the phones on exactly the same time. Boom, make that call. Y se acaba. Trash. Then, you know, so, so I don't know. know. Go on Call of Duty online with a gaming and fucking text the, the, another, the new number there and fucking go on the phone thing. It's fucking separate communication. Like fucking Call of Duty chat lines. Fucking just do that through there. That bullshit. Like, you show that shit, like, that's fucking ISIS terrorist shit. No, no. Esas madres las hacíamos aquí en Tijuana, no para comunicar. Tijuana en tres palabras. Life, death, and reaper. You know? Vida, muerte, entre razón, el nacimiento. Serpiente emplumado, moviendo a la cola. That is like one more. It's like a feathered serpent eating its tail. Same thing. Vida. Muerte. Vida. Nacimiento. Vida. Muerte. That's a story here. Now there's a... There's a Santa Muerte shrine that we used to leave offerings on to freaking for a safe day of work. Uh, te, vas, te vas a la presa. You, you go to la presa. Cross that la presa bridge and there's a curve. And there's a big altar there. It gets destroyed every couple of months. They build it up, 
the military breaks it down, the Catholics go there, Christians groups and break it down, and it gets rebuilt. And all the rubble is covered in pictures, candles, the plegarias, cold streams. And, you know, it gets knocked down and it gets built back up. I think, uh, I think that's the clearest symbol of what Tijuana is. Another thing about, like, right now he's saying about La Santa Muerte, like, it's crazy. I've been in ceremonies where I'm next to a cop. I'm a fugitive. He's a he's, he's on a fugitive task force, but we're in the same ceremony. Yes, I might import the famous in the world. Yeah, that's Whether it be at the sweat lodge, I'll be at the sweat lodge. Straight sweaty, you know, and, and, and they, they was humans. They switched and them problemas, you know. Fools had stress. The fools even had, fools started having fucking, um, like illnesses from, from their job. And and I was like, you know, it's like a mental illness on my job. My job, like just trying to stay free was a, all that worrying, I don't know. That's, I'm glad I had to sweat lunch because of that. <laughs> pinches de monos. Llegaban, they'll show up round one, round two. By round four, they were out, out the fucking, that front door, you know? And so Santa Marta priests told me that, you know, Policía, Ratea, sus corruptos, sus políticos, políticos bien, todo. La muerte le va a todo. You know, death is on everybody's side. You know, that's what she was saying. You know, that's, like, I remember just going through some of these processes and just seeing people like, ah, we're after that guy. Pero aquí, they can't say it. You know, this is, this is, this is neutral ground. The, there was a pause. You know? And there was a respect there afterwards, too. You know, you meet somebody out there that you, you know was part of the faith, was no more part of the process. And later on, when you meet them, you know, after the whole, well, all, your, all your bullshit just went back and all the job you just did just ended and everything just, what it was, all, what, what, is, what was it all about or what, what good is it now for you? And you see, look back and you're in a place where like, oh, we share the same kind of spiritual process. We share, we share some of the same ceremony, we share some of the, uh, healing. It's like, hey, we were not that fucking different, you know? You know, the, the whole concept of an enemy, you know, the enemies never clearly defined. El enemigo nunca, nunca me lo definieron. I, I never went to a, like through training, they never like had a, a picture of it. Este es el enemigo, this is what you need to go after. It was a painting that you kept changing, you know? El enemigo, the, the enemy sometimes was a cop that was working with you. Era los de la fi, era el enemigo. Or the, uh, Dude from uh, Barrio Logan that would come and fucking work here for, for a certain group, you know? That's an enemy, <laughs> you know? Uh, but later on, you start realizing that all these fuckers are, have, a, have a goal. All these fuckers also go through a specific selection process in their way. They go through the ringer, you know? They grew up in the hood. The violence is part of their upbringing. They, they're, they're tested. They're hazed. They're jumped in. And then you look back on your experience, and I was fucking hate, jumped in, violence. I had to prove myself over and over again. And that, the deeper you go, I think the older you get, you realize that there's no us in them. There's, you know, there's us, you know, at the end. It's a weird Buddhist fucking thing that they have as well. You know, if you realize that you're one with everything, I think uh, part of my process of going through my healing is just realizing that, you know, and we weren't that different in as far as what we were doing. And we're part of a weird game, but you know, at the end of Monopoly, all the pieces go back in the box. Last night, me, Ed, and Dave, we had this fucking um, crazy conversation, you know? He, and for a minute, I just like sit back, Ed le algo a David, David le dice algo a Ed, and I'm just like, I'm hearing this shit, like me, and then I'm like, I'm like, okay, pues esta madre es un little microcosm, right? This, this little world we're in, we're living in this little microcosm, but there's another fucking world above it. And that's what really fucked me up when I, I'm learning about this other world that's, we're right here on some, estamos comiendo uno al otro, you know? But there's another world, there's another, there's another, hay otro sistema que está sobre del que nosotros pensamos that that's it. Cause sometimes our mind's that little, and our world's that little, que no nos, no nos, ni nos imaginamos that this other shit's going on. And, um, la, la gente que estaba encargada de mí, me convenció de que él era el enemigo. 
la gente que estaba encargada de él, se convenció que yo era el mismo. Y después de que se fueron esos cabrones, en this room, hanging out, talking, laughing, sharing stories of debauchery, sharing stories of pain, sharing stories of just pure fucking hell on earth, hellscapes on earth, and realizing afterwards that that, that purgatory went through, you know, just, we're, estamos en el mismo, like, basically we're all, we're all on the same level at the end of it. Yeah. So like, what, you know, we're really that different, you know? If you're conscientious enough to know that you're losing your soul, you still have a soul. You still have a soul to lose. And some people are born, just born without it. Or some people just fucking have it, died early on. There's fucking monsters out there. Everybody talks about being a stone cold killer and shit like that. I've met many of them. The neta, pinches vatos cabrones que mataban y no mataban. Fucking kill a dude, fucking go into his kitchen and have cornflakes, you know? Those guys are rare, but they're out there, you know? Some monsters. Those fucking guys are fucking monsters. Um, I can understand what made them that way, you know? Enough that I know that I'm, you know, enough that I know that it's not something I would want to become or would want to approach to be myself. Uh, la empatía, la empatía es, la empatía es una, la, la empatía es un handicap, and empathy is a handicap, they want to kill in you from the start. And I don't know Conejo's uh, process with that, my process with it was like, early on, you're a monster, this is what you do, yeah, yeah. those are the bad guys, fuck, fuck them up, and empathy was not part of the process that we yeah, had to yeah. go No, you sometimes even, I'm not saying like you gotta even kind of like fake laugh to let to make your yeah. to make your team make them feel that you're you guys are all on the same page even though on the inside you know that that shit was that shit, shit was foul or yeah shit. so you know yeah he, 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 I don't know I just always think about like I had a little bit of love like there's things that I loved and I just me agarré de eso you know like And just you know everything that all fail but that that love was like beautiful if you, if, you know like if you can feel you're losing your soul I mean you still have a soul to lose I think that's that's the main thing sientes que estás perdiendo lo que tienes poquito it's coming out of it and still having something and I just think that's that's what saved me at least the truth like there's days like even now you know like a que you know ah, pues me rolo un, un, un gallito en el like I don't know what the fuck me pego nomás un pinche tanque y quedo bien paniqueado like, the PTSD that shit comes out and it reminds me and I'm back to like looking at the blinds in my house checking out the same shit back to normal looking at the cameras I'll call my boy hey what you think boom me un pinche carro this shit hit the corner <coughs> or you know I go back to it like no it's time machine like, That shit's not gonna like let me go, you know? I love smoking weed, but a veces some of it, I said, I know, that shit hits me like, you know, me, 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 me un dea. Like, it's yeah. like, it's, it's, instead of it being a medicine, it becomes like the opposite, you know? Y este, I don't know, hopefully as I get older, I know I, I'm never gonna forget, but hopefully as I get older and older, I'll get, I'll get wiser and, you know, I'll, I'll just, You know, you start figuring it out, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no sé. But I think, you, I think you're doing something with it already by singing about it and creating things that other people are going to listen to and it's going to change the way they go about their process. I think we're, we're at a point in our lives where it's not about us anymore, you know? If you have children, you are the ghost of your children's future. That's all you are, you know? It's about them. You know, you're the bow, they're the arrow. And we're not going to get better. You know, again, it's about the that's going to be your job. You're going to be better. It's going to pass a moment and everything will be okay. That's bullshit. But I think if you die with this shit inside, that is going to be the true tragedy. And I think if you're writing about it, singing about it, making a difference with it, fucking inspiring people, and shit around it, you're going to be able to do it. 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 You're
Yeah. Some of your homies that you talked about last night, you know, their names, their stories, you talking about them is keeping them here. It's keeping them alive. And it's making whatever they did, whatever, whatever, whatever they lost, it's making all that shit work. And that's, I think, at the end, for me at least, that's, that's where I, I found my, my, uh, my purpose in that, you know? We, um... We went and filmed, nos fuimos a chingar los tacos en Otay. Se me hace que se llama este tacos del gallito. Right? El taco del gallo. Yeah. El gallo o el gallito? El gallo. El gallo. El gallo, el gallo uno, no el gallo dos. Okay, so, <laughs> so we went up in there and I, and I, and I, and I ran into a, un, pues a homie, un fan, you know, que era aquí de San Diego. Y este, y me dice, no, pues tengo tres primos de tu barrio. Acaban de matar a uno. Y este, y este, y este. And, you know, he's like, me empieza a decir, like, and, and he's not the only one. I've got it from a gang of people, and they'll tell me, like, man, yo con esta rola tuya, man, me chingo un güey. Y con esta hacíamos esto, y con esta hacíamos jales con estas. And, 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 you know, there's days where I'm like, oh, that's right, that's right. Pero, pero like, the other side of me, when I hear that, I don't, I don't feel proud. I just feel like, okay, hice algo pa' ti. We relate, but it's, it's not like I'm going to fucking celebrate that. It's a weird thing. I don't feel no kind of, like, Whoever's gonna watch this and see this, I don't. There's no like celebrating that shit. I don't feel like give me a fucking trophy because I made a song that helped you go and fucking body bag some food, you know. He, he, I just wrote a song or some shit I was going through and or, or shit that was around me or a story of someone that I knew that he shared it with me and he wanted me to like, you know, was rap era como corridos para mí, you know. I was telling stories a lot of was in my surroundings, you know, me. and it's a weird thing with me with that because I, I just I don't I don't I don't ever feel like I'm I could celebrate that it's, that the music is not like for celebrating it's for I don't know and in 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 my culture it's like it's just a chaman chaman manifesta manifiesta lo que lo que lo que atraviesa you go into the shaman goes into the spirit world and comes back and manifests that through song, music, ceremony. And in a way, I think that's what you're doing. Now, there is a there's a retarded part of most people's mind where they say, you know, illumination is a, is a, illumination is a disruptive process. It's not about feeling better or getting better. It's about the, the crumbling away from truth. And if you're singing about truth, you know, it, it's gonna hurt. You know, it's gonna do damage as well. Fucking if it, if anything if any fucking energy matters, it has to have both parts. It has to have the positive effects of change, and also has to have some other negative effects of change. But I'm here with your mind. You're speaking something from the un, you went to the you went to the underworld, and you brought back something. You know, used to be drums, and used to be songs of our people, and now it's conejo in my airplane. Pixie Rock, I had a ego is landed. Toofy Moon, dedication to me. I'm back full fledge. I'm gonna do it. Wanna find out more about us? You can check us out on our social media. At Conejo Rapper, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Todo. That's manifesto.com. Chief Dad, in this concrete jungle, you could get got his heart of cookie crumble. The psyche. Of the village so sexy, might say kill him in these Cortez Nikes. Gotta get mine, yeah, that's regardless. No fly zone for all you warriors, straight up. I'll be creeping through no shame, man. Slim, you know the one shot photo. Music assassina, inside a sinister mind, inside a sinister mind, inside. A sinister mind, you are now tuned in to a sinister mind. Inside, a sinister mind. Inside, a sinister mind. Inside, a sinister mind. You are now tuned in to a sinister mind. Violent crime in Tijuana has reached record levels. During just one week in August, 48 people lost their lives in homicide. That's nearly the same total of homicide victims in San Diego in all of last year.